Well, it looks like Intel confirmed in their official Coffee Lake briefing that the new processors use a vastly different pin configuration compared to previous generation processors. And as such, there is no backwards compatibility with 200 or 100 series motherboards. Now, while Intel did mention it, they didn't go into much detail until yesterday David Shore, an engineer and industry analyst in the field of semiconductor and computer architecture, has revealed that the Coffee Lake processors are indeed using a different electrical pin configuration, confirming Intel's claims. According to David, the reason we don't have Coffee Lake processors compatible with older series motherboards that feature the LGA1151 socket is the change in pins. For instance, if the pin config changes on a processor, the sockets on the motherboard need to be configured as such. It's not a process that can be done via software and is a little bit more of a hardware level change. When compared, the Coffee Lake processors have 391 VSS or ground pins, which is an increase of 14 compared to KB Lake. 146 VCC electrical pins, which is an increase of 18 pins when compared to KB Lake as well and is about 25 pins that are reserved and a decrease of 21 pins from the 46 reserved on KB Lake. So to wrap that up, KB Lake to Coffee Lake, we go VSS from 377 to 391, which is an increase of 14, VCC power, which is 128 to 146, which is an 18 increase, RSVD, which is the reserved, goes from 46 down to 25. While we can put many theories to rest with this new detail, we think much of the confusion could have been avoided if Intel clarified this themselves. Of course, if you're making motherboards with a new PCH and a new series of processors on the same socket that ran the previous CPU line, consumers would definitely want to know more about why the new platform that has the same socket cannot support their older chip. We previously heard about the LGA 1151 V2 naming scheme and that may have sorted some confusion but as we can tell all motherboards still use the LGA 1151 naming scheme which may lead to people thinking that their 6th and 7th generation processors can run on the newer boards. So let us know what you think or have to say about this topic. We'd love to hear your opinion on it and of course for a much deeper analysis as well as a view of the pen layouts go ahead and head over to the article linked in the description and if you found this video entertaining or informative whatsoever, feel free to leave a like and a subscribe. And as always, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we will catch you in the next video.